Introducing the Crusher. Hey there, YouTube. Al here. Today I'll be doing my top 15 of 2015 pipe tobacco countdown. Uh, just a uh, couple of quick disclaimers first. I apologize for any background noise. Uh, it's a somewhat decent day out here today and um, I got the garage door fully open to let some light in, air it out a little bit, but there's always cars and stuff going by. So apologize for that ahead of time. Secondly, uh, this is just my personal favorites. Uh, these, this is what tastes good to my taste buds, to my palate. Uh, yours may differ. Um, again, it's just, uh, I've been smoking a little over a year now, pipe tobacco. Uh, last year I did a uh, top five because I was only smoking for a couple months. But this time I was going to do a top ten, but I've seen a few presenters already did a top 15, I guess for 2015. So I'll do a top 15 as well. So with that out of the way, let's start off the countdown. Number 15 is actually what I'm smoking right now, and it's my only aromatic on the whole list. It is. Captain Black Copper. Uh, it's a really good blend. Uh, it's pretty mild, but it does have uh, a little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, it's a little different from the Captain Black White Pouch. It seems like it's a little softer than that one. Uh, really good. I get a little bit of um, caramel and uh, vanilla, I guess I could say, taste out of it. So it's really good. It's not too strong. Um, this was actually given to me by Christopher B uh, Brandt, Big B. So thank you very much for that. I really enjoy it. So that's number 15. Put that there and do a quick relight. All right, on to the countdown. Number 14 is Pelican. Uh, it's a really great English blend. It's got Orientals in it. Uh, really smooth, uh, great taste. Uh, the only reason why it's so low on the list is it's very hard to get. So, if, But if you can get your hands on some of it, definitely try to get some. It's a really good English blend. Uh, I'd say mild to medium. Probably leaning a little towards the milder side than the medium. But again, great smoke, just a little hard to get. So that's why it's number 14. Number 13 is Cornell and Deal Pirate Cake. Uh, this is what uh, it's called like a lat bomb. A lot of Latakia in it. Very good though. Um, if you're into Latakia, definitely give this one a chance. Uh, really strong, really rich, but flavorful. Um, I gotta be in the mood to smoke it, but when I am in the mood to smoke it, it's really, really good. So that's number 13, Pirate Cake. Number 12, Seattle Pipe Clubs Plum Pudding. Uh, great blend. I, most of you guys know this. Um, it's the, uh, I guess, the brother blend to Mississippi River with some Cavendish added to it. So it's got uh, Virginia, Perique, uh, a few other things. It doesn't tell you on here, does it? Yeah, Latakia, Orientals, Virginias, Perique, and a little something extra. So I think that little extra is the black Cavendish. Uh, all goes really well together. Great smoke. So, um, Give that one a shot if you are interested in having a, a big blend like that. So that was number 12. 12. Okay, number 11. This is my only over-the-counter or codger blend, as you could call it. Carter Hall. Uh, really great blend. Uh, readily available pretty much everywhere. Uh, it's like a burly blend, but it, there's no bite to it. Really smooth. Uh, it's a great... Uh, change of pace tobacco. If I'm not in the mood for an English or a Virginia, I want something a little different, but I don't want an aromatic either. That fits perfectly. So it's a great blend. Again, it's cheap. You can find it everywhere. And it's actually a really decent smoke to it. So that's my number 11. All right, before we get into the top 10, as you can tell, I'm talking too much, so my pipe's going out. So a quick relay. All right, starting the top 10. Get that out of the way. Number 10, Frog Morton Cellar. 
Now I know you guys that are watching, and if you saw my last year's review, this was number one. So I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of nasty gram saying, hey, how does a number one drop all the way to number 10? Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, just my taste changed, my palate's changed. Um, I like to think it got a little more refined. I can pick out a lot more things than I could last year. Not saying it's a bad blend, it's still a great blend, but it's a, uh, it's a very light English. Some people call it a crossover because it's got a little bit of that whiskey topping in it. Uh, it's still an awesome smoke. It's, I, I like this when, on a hot summer day when I'm in the mood for an English, but I don't want like a really heavy English. So this is a nice light English, very good. So just because it dropped all them spots doesn't mean you know it's bad or anything. It just, you know, again, my taste change. So that's number 10, Frog Morton Cellar. Number nine, Orlick Golden Sliced. This is a really good Virginia Flake tobacco. It's got a little bit of Perique in it. Um, again, if you're into vapors or Virginias, you want to try something with a little bit of Perique in it, give that one a chance. It's really good, really flavorful. It's a nice smooth smoke. So that's my number nine. Number eight, Presbyterian Mixture. I actually got this one in a sample as well from um, Hornet Tank 75. Really great smoke. Um, it's got Virginia's and uh, Macedonian grade uh, exclusive. I think that's Turkish or another way to say it, Turkish, but it's it's got Latakia in it as well. It's a, it's a really good, uh, I'm not really sure how to classify it, maybe an English slash Balkan. But uh, when I got the sample of that, I ended up, I loved it so much, I ended up buying a few tins of it. So that's my number eight. Oh, is that seven? Kind of lost track. All right. Regardless, moving on. I believe, yeah, I think that was number eight. Here's number seven. Hearth and Home, Larry's Blend. Another really rich blend, uh, a lot of Latakia in it. Uh, really smooth. Uh, medium full definitely um, I don't find it as strong as pirate cake so it really fits a good niche right in there between like medium to full English very tasty very good blend um, I could see this one being higher next year as well so check that one out Larry's blend hearth and home good stuff and number six Dunhill my mixture 965 uh, this is what's considered like a Cavendish blend. It's an English with um, Cavendish in it, so it's a Scottish blend, not a Cavendish blend, but a Scottish blend. Really good. Dunhill makes high quality tobacco anyway. Uh, just the way the ingredients are blended. Really, really good. Uh, again, I could see this one going higher as well as I smoke more and more of it. But very good stuff. So that's my number six. All right. Coming down to the top five, uh, there's some, if you guys watch my other review, there's some same, similar ones in there, but there's a new number one. All right, number five, Drew Estate Meat Pie. Uh, great English, mild to medium, uh, kind of leaning more on the medium than the mild. Very flavorful, very tasty. Uh, never had a bad bowl of it really great blend uh, for those of you that like Drew Estate cigars uh, you this would be right up your alley so uh, again uh, Drew Estate makes good stuff so uh, definitely check that one out if you're looking for a, a good medium English that's number five number four Dunhill Flake uh, Flake straight Virginia tobacco really really good um, there's no Perique in it uh, it's got the natural sweetness the natural like citrus taste to it very good smoke um, I actually have a few tins of this aging in my cellar right now so I'd be really curious to see how this tastes in about five six years but even out of the tin it's it's a really good blend so that's my number four number three Sam Gawith's Squadron Leader. Another mild to medium English, uh, just the way all the blends in the tobacco itself come together. 
comes together perfectly great flavor great aroma uh, and it's even even the tin art is pretty cool too so it's a great smoker again uh, I, I would never go wrong smoking this stuff it's a great English blend give that one a chance if you haven't already number two Dunhill Elizabethan mixture this is a Virginia Perique blend it's got more Perique in it than the uh, Orlick Golden Slice, and I do like Perique, so just the way, whatever percentage they put in there, it's perfect to my taste buds. So, uh, definitely check that one out if you're into that. And, number one, Hearth and Home Black House. Uh, this is a Latakia-based blend with uh, Virginia Orientals, Dark Fired Kentucky, Perique, and a bit of black Cavendish. So it's got a lot of ingredients in it. Uh, Russ hit it out of the ballpark with this one. He blended this one perfectly. Uh, I really love, uh, I just love the flavor of it. It's really, really good. So that's my new number one. Uh, I could see it staying in my top five for the, at least for the near future. It's a really good blend. If you haven't tried it, check it out for sure. And that's it. Again, hopefully, uh, the countdown helps you guys out, especially newer guys that are looking to get into pipe smoking or you just started, you're not sure what to get. I try to give a little bit of a description of everything. Uh, any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up here. Again, uh, 2015 was a great year. Uh, I'm continually learning. I really thank the uh, presenters. I mean, I learned so much uh, just sitting watching you guys while I smoke a pipe myself uh, just all the information it's really great uh, I love watching the box openings and, and the videos uh, the VRs I should say and the contest going on I mean it's a great community I'm really glad to be part of it and again I really do thank you guys for all the hard work you put in uh, to my subs I thank you very much um, again uh, for you to take time out of your busy day uh, you know I really do appreciate that uh, you know you watch the videos you comment you like and stuff like that it, I mean I, I never thought I'd get to where I am today but you know as long as you guys like it I'll try to keep making videos when I can and uh, that's it uh, we're wrapping up 2015 here hope everyone has a Merry Christmas Happy New Year uh, Happy Hanukkah whatever um, holidays you guys celebrate uh, hope they're safe and happy and uh, Everyone's healthy and uh, really look forward to 2016. So that's it. Again, uh, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, as always, until next time, have a good one.